So I'm gonna do a video of how we're gonna make a massive desk for our school room. Since my wife is homeschooling this year, uh, I just bought a large butcher block from Home Depot, I think. So here are the dimensions on it. It's just a mega piece of wood. Uh, they give you some little care instructions right here, but we don't need those. We've done a lot of these. And here's the stain. We're gonna do a um, classic wood stain whitewash on it. And just with this little sponge brush, so I'll let you know how it comes out, but let's get started. It's still human, so I have to be careful. I'm gonna keep these so when I flip it, I'll have something to put this on, but um, I'm gonna do a light coat to start out with, and then we'll get thicker as we put the second and third coat on it. No, this is not my good knife, so don't get alarmed. Although I could probably go in there and find a screwdriver. We'll see. Yep, I think I will. It's too thin. Be right back. Here we go. Obviously, there's no, I think, perfect method for doing a stain on here. But again, I'm going to do it light to start out with. idea how this looks on camera but uh, here's the first coat pretty thin this sticks pretty well a little trick that to keep this little blotching like this let's go ahead and when you do your sponge run it all the way down all the way to the end because if you stop you're gonna get a little blotching which can be sanded, sanded down and we will sand this all the way down once we get a couple coats on here but and that's the first coat and you can always sand back almost to the bare wood so don't worry about what it looks like now but it should come out well once we get done isn't that right dude yep the stain is super runny so i changed up my method on the side i'm sorry on the sides right here i'm gonna dap it like this you can see it's running dap it to get it on there and then I need to move my piece right here, but. And I hear thunder in the background. You guys probably can't hear that, but I'm gonna call this quits for a minute and probably cover it up. Okay, so I'm liking that. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, I'm gonna go check the garden. Come on, dude. I'm gonna check the garden for our peppers. We're getting a couple last pieces off of the crop this summer. And I'm gonna start YouTubing a lot more just because, you know, we've done a lot of projects uh, over the years, many of which have been photographed, but not recorded. So I'm not gonna pick these yet. Here's a good one. There we go. And uh, so I'm gonna do it so we can just kind of teach our kids work ethic. These jalapenos. This is awesome. These have been producing let me set them down these have been producing like crazy and we got such a late start this year on these but they're still producing so well two big babies back here i think that's good for now and um so one of our kids just to kind of see projects we do and teach them hard work and hopefully it kind of teaches them as they get older but that's the intent behind these videos of just doing these small projects and posting them on YouTube and here's the pool from the last couple days so loading up still right here with the avocados and apples okay it's been about let's see 20 minutes I mean yeah about 20 minutes Let's see if it's tacky or not. 
maybe just a little bit. I'm gonna give it probably five or 10 more minutes just because of the humidity. And then before I finish tonight, I'm gonna do one last coat. So I ended up letting it sit overnight. It had to, it just would not dry. It was so humid last night, but now it's nice and smooth. Um, I like it. So hopefully you can see the grain a little bit. And once you sand it down, that grain, that butcher block grain will pop out a little bit. So that's the intent later today once I get home from work. I mentioned that we've used this butcher block a number of times. Here's an example of another space we've used it it's on top of the washer and dryer and put a little og router bit on the side to doll it up left it a um, flat kind of finish i don't like anything too glossy so that's another example we've also used it for an island in the kitchen <laughs> nice friday evening after work walking downtown about to head home this is a little spot in Georgia where they film a lot of movies. They kind of made it look like um, downtown New Orleans, the French Quarter. I'm not sure what they've filmed down here, but it's a really cool little town. All right, the legs arrived. I'm gonna put a link in the description about the Amazon. These come in gold, white, black, bronze, and a couple different variations. But we're gonna take it inside. And see what it looks like. All right, you guys on video. Fair shake. All right, here, bud. Grab one. All right. So. Well, how's it look? It's an excellent space to work. <clears throat> and that's the playroom. We're working on the table. Cool. What do you think, bud? It's awesome. All right. So this, these legs, there's various different um, finishes and sizes and uh, design, but. They do come with these adjustable um, footings on here. So I just screw it in. You can adjust it depending on your floor, which is great. And screws for all these eight holes that they have on each set of legs. And even some little gripper pad to put on top of these. So this thing ought to be great for school. What do you think, Park? Good. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. Got it? Yeah. All right. Hey, Dad still needs to screw them on. Thank you, Cotton. How's it coming? Good. All right. Really tight. How's it coming, Chump? I'm good. All right, you guys ready to start school? Yeah. You love your new desk? Yeah. How much? A lot. All right, sticky. There it is, bud. Here, no, just one. One at a time. Perfect. That's it. That's it. Right there. There you go. All right, Cotton, your turn. Okay, push. Perfect. All right, two more. Be easier this way. Nope. Got it. And got it. Perfect. Not Last one. So I went ahead and put this back an inch and a half right here and three and a half inches on both sides. I'm going to get a little landmark and just mark it with my pen here so I know what's going on. And with this, um, butcher block super 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 hard so before you screw in your uh screws you have to pre-drill it you must absolutely have to so i'm gonna go ahead and do these eight pre-drill holes and then i'll screw the rest of it in
All right, what I'm gonna do so it doesn't move, I'm gonna go ahead and put a screw in both of these real quick. Hey, Chunk, hand, hand me that a bit. So, just so I don't have to fight it moving around. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a screw here. Super tight. And one more screw here. Now I can finish drilling the rest of them and don't have to worry about it. What do you guys think about building your own school desk? Great. Awesome. What do you think, John? Awesome? Can I get one in there? I guess. Did you move your hair out of your face? Alright. So now we just need to find some chairs, right? Yeah. What do y'all think about the table? Or desk. Awesome. Awesome. All right. Who's ready to learn? Me. Me. All right. So now we need some chairs that will actually fit. And cotton. We got a few out here. A lot of leftovers from our storage. Let's go get them. Hey. Which way are you going? Uh, That is quicker, I guess. All right. I get the first. All right. Both you guys grab a chair. You think you can carry it by yourself? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. All right, let's go. Jude, step down first, Sean. Come on. All right, start walking. <laughs> start walking out towards the house. All right, can you carry it back to the house? Uh, grab it lower, baby. Grab it right here. Grab it right here. Yes. All right, come on. How's that? Uh, good. Are you guys going to be able to do school while looking out at the backyard? Huh? Wait, what? Will you be able to study and focus while looking out at the backyard? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. No funny business. Can also see them. So the chairs are placed now from the pool house. They look good. Uh, this is pretty much finished. Only two coats. So... We like it, we need to sand it a little bit more. There is one safety measure I'm gonna take in place and that is uh, filing down these little pointed edges right here uh, and then we'll be all done. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. School table for the uh, 2021 school year and thanks for watching.